Good afternoon, Hall Truck. I'm Tanya Walker. I'm a youth and community worker at Hazel Road Network. My name is Sidi Majuba. I'm from Sierra Leone, and I'm also the activities coordinator for the whole Afro-Caribbean Association. Hull Truck is so much more than just a theatre. I think it's part of the, the culture of Hull. It's a landmark, isn't it, I think? People see a Hull Truck here as a meeting place where we can have a cup of coffee, relax, it's warm. So it's not just about theatre. A lot of people in um, the other community suffer from isolation um, and loneliness and they wouldn't come to the theatre on their own. So it's nice to be able to bring them here as a group to experience things that they wouldn't generally get to experience. The Afro-Caribbean Association is there to represent issues that affect African and the Caribbean community. And the way Hall Truck sits with a beautiful uh, glass and, uh, you know, the, it looks very posh. Sometimes people think the, the grassroots cannot use this um, centre, but the theatre is for everybody. My personal project I think I've enjoyed more is the recent one with the leaves for Midsummer Night's Dream. Hull Truck came to us in all of our sessions, the children and children's sessions as well. And it was nice to kind of sit down with the young people and the old people to find out what they feel is important and love is. Um, and it just opened many doors and conversations that you wouldn't normally get. After the coronavirus, every centre was trying to get its audience back and Hull Truck give us that opportunity. There was a play titled Everything I Own. That play was staged at our backyard garden in the whole Afro-Caribbean Association. And it was, as the Jamaicans say, in backyard. So we are very, very pleased with that. And that helps us a lot. We work very closely with Hull Truck. Um, we've brought so many of our groups to come and watch numerous performances here at Hull Truck. You have never watched probably theatre or never witnessed the audience in theatre. Then you come and watch a play, then you get hooked up into coming. When somebody's not been to a theatre before and they see the lights and the music and the backdrop, um, you get lost in that kind of, uh, lost in the world, so to speak. So for me, it's not just about the Afro-Caribbean community, but it has to be inclusive that everybody, every walks of life is taking part in theatre and also enjoying theatre. For the service users we work with, um, they're so consumed in their everyday life that just to be able to kind of bring somebody and for them not to have to worry about what's going on is so special. If you look at the, 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 the theatre now, it's developing in different ways. Look, for instance, I watch a play here from South Africa. That was very interesting for me. Normally, the, the audience is completely different. But when you bring a play from South Africa, it attracts other cultures and interaction. So all that brings a rich and diverse culture in our truck. For us, what, what we'd like to do more is to carry on liaising and working on the smaller projects that our service users can see being used in a production. It gives them a sense of achievement um, and a sense of ownership. It's invaluable to them.